And whether you agree with Ali's politics, whether you agree with what he had to say, he was a conscientious objector. You went to jail after three strikes for beating up women. Don't say that you're better than Ali because you can't even lace his boots in and outside of the ring. And there are others that you can say are greater than Ali, but nobody's ever said you're the greatest ever except for yourself. Was Wenger critical of him, or was Wenger critical of someone else? Guys, 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 I'm I'm, I'm going to I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you because there's something important that I want you to do for me. Um, On days like this, sometimes you just have to take things as they go. You have to roll with the punches. Is that what you're saying, Bunsy? Yes, what we do, yeah. son. Okay. Um, if I gave you the option right now, Bunsy, yep. you've uh, done uh, lo- loads of different boxing interviews, but I want you to interview. Th- who, who would you like to interview? The biggest, hmm. the biggest boxer in the entire world. Who would you like to interview right now? Who would you like to interview? <sighs> Floyd Mayweather. I mean, could that be done? Could- I think it would be good for me and Ricky Hannon to, you know, sit down and have dinner. Um, but just, you know, just talk, you know, actually this is, we've actually fought almost a decade ago. It's been, uh, nine years ago, mm-hmm. but, um, Ricky Hatton was, you know, he was one hell of a fighter, you know, business, business as usual and no hard feelings. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. I really don't know. So my thing is, you know, when he was talking about, me fighting Amir Khan, um, and one particular, you know, uh, it's been many different names, you know, that came up. Um, but Amir Khan, I mean, you can't just, I, I don't think a guy can just, you know, what say, you know, cause I want to fight Floyd Mayweather. You know, Amir Khan has to stay on a, a strong, I mean, I think that he has to, I mean, no different from Pacquiao. Pacquiao has a history of beating a lot of legend champions. I have a history of beating a lot of legendary champions, and, and and that was a fight that had to happen. So was I going to put was I going to, was I going to turn away three hundred million dollars to make seventy million? Absolutely not. I wasn't going to shortchange myself. And then, as um, far as I know, that he had a fight scheduled um, to fight the guy that Pacquiao had fought. I think y'all had beat. Yeah, Chris Algieri. And, um, yes, Chris Algieri. But w- when we do our homework on Amir Khan, I mean, he's a very exciting fighter, very explosive. He's a good, uh, very good boxer, very good puncher. But it's just that, I mean, he come out and look dynamite in one fight, then he'll come in the next fight, and that looks so good. Then he'll come out, and then he'll get knocked out, and he come back. And we in two fights. So it's, it's been kind of up and down in his career. Mm-hmm. But I commend him. He's a, you know, I mean, he's a fighter that fights with a lot of heart. He's very exciting. And, um, you know, I look forward to hopefully someday, you know, hopefully someday he'll be in the name of the banner. Um, no, because if I have it, you know, I think that my career – wouldn't have played out like it played out. So, you know, you know, certain things that wasn't good in my life, I or wasn't so great, I just prayed about it. And um and, and from there basically. Floyd, thank you very much for phoning into the program. We really appreciate it. And uh, of course if you want to go and see- I just want to say to everybody in the UK and Europe, I really, really um, want to take my head off to you guys and say thank you. You have, you guys have been my number one fans. You have embraced me with open arms, and I feel like everyone that's in, in Europe and in the UK is family to me.